the right lobe is echinormal. There is a nodule presenting coarse calcification along the entire ventral wall. The left lobe has a multi-chambered, spongiform type cystic nodule which occupies almost the entire lobe. There are numerous hypercogenic granules, most of them is clearly related to a ventral smaller or larger cystic area. Therefore, these belong to figures caused by posterior back wall enhancement subgroup. Now, we aspirate the cystic part. The tip of the needle is clearly visible. After aspirating 4 milliliters fluid, a moving figure has appeared which corresponds to blood flow. We have already removed the needle but the flow continues. It means that the cystic fluid of the nodule obliterated an artery, and after the removal of this cloth, the cyst began to refill with fresh blood. The refilling of the cystic chamber is demonstrated.